Hey guys, uh, Jamman Red here. Just uh, putting a little, together a little video to show the basics of formation flying. Uh, by no means am I a good pilot, but uh, I can point out a few tricks here and there as we go on through this video. Um, it's me and Babs and German and Daniel, all pretty new to the game, um, sort of learning together as we go. Um, hope you enjoy. Brakes off, throttle fell. Clear the runway, you're good to continue. Roger. Stick with me, Joe. We're going to bank around to the right, throttle down a bit and level off. So at this point, I'm trying to get Bob's, who's a lead aircraft, into my little left. Sort of keep him there, just about there is always good. See so that you can keep the if you keep the wings level with the top of your actual dashboard. It's a good reference. Um, as I'm turning, I'm in the inside. I should be throttling back. Um, if you're in the inside of the turn, you should be throttling back. I, don't, I might complete pig zero this here in the end up, but uh, I should be now turning on yeah. the inside. Yep, I'm good. Okay, hold your brakes on. Throttle eighty. No, no. I'll wait till we come around on the runway. Release brakes for throttle. As you can hear, uh, Dan and German are now getting ready to take off from the base as well. Green Bob's are just circling around, so we can form up behind them, hopefully, or locate them. Keep going round actually, we should come up behind them then. Okay, pull up. Got a visual on them. Okay, Jeff, throttle the back of it. What speed are you actually doing? 192. Are you on following Daniel, yeah? I'm trying to keep formation, German. Don't bother looking at your speedometer. Just try and match speeds visually. What yeah, attitude are you at? Uh, we're way above you at the moment. You just uh, keep on going the way you are. Gain altitude, we'll level off, slow down. Just as I'm telling German to uh, keep a visual, I uh, lose visual myself and uh, lose formation is a perfect example. Um, main thing is, don't look at any of your instruments, don't look at the speed. Basically, look at nothing but the flight aircraft in front of you. I find that's the simplest thing to do when we're trying to uh, keep formation. Stay off to the side too, it's easier to match speed. Roll down a bit more, Jar. Off roll. They're off to our right. Hello, yeah, I see. Okay, Dan, you should see us off to your left slightly. Left hand. Coming in parallel with you now. I see you. Level enough. Okay, go and just follow Dan. He's going to bank left a bit. Keep your distance for now, though. He's going to come in behind us, so I'll take lead. 
Dan, you go off to which side are you, Joe? Joe on my right, so. Yeah, so. So Dan, go off to my left. Go and just keep at the rear, so we got like a diamond formation. For the moment, I'm going to keep level flight. We're at half throttle, so we've got plenty of chance to catch us up. Oh yeah, we're ahead of you now, so... Yeah, by the time you turn left and come around behind now. us. Okay, we just keep your distance for now and just try and keep us in good visual. And as you start coming up on formation, we'll give you some instructions on what to do. And also make sure your flaps are fully up, and obviously your gear should be up by now. There's also quite a lot of delay on the throttle yeah, in the eighth hand, so uh, yes, yes, you've got to sort of predict your movements again. Oh, I'm rest. already doing it, yeah. Lost flight lead again. It takes a huge amount of concentration to stay on formation. Should be moving just, yeah, behind. That's it. I'll throttle back a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna overshoot again. No, it might be good actually. Yeah, you're overshot again. Okay, you're right above Daniel at the moment. So just let your speed drop a little bit and then nose down again. Right, should be clear to drop. There you go. Now just try and hold that position for 30 seconds. So the advice is just put Dan somewhere in your cockpit window and just try and keep him in that same place all the time. So ignore all your controls, just looking up, down, and nothing else. You now Dan's wiggling a little bit, he's doing a good job. I mean, I've got it easy, I've got autopilot on. Yeah, I don't quite have the curvature of this joystick, right? Yeah, well I've got it on 22 and I quite like it though. That's both axis, that is, X and Y. Okay, gonna go for another turn. What we're gonna do a double turn, we're gonna go left and then go right. Okay, here we go gents, banking left. Increased the roll slightly, but they've uh, over increased slightly, I think. But uh, I'm on the outside of the turn now, so I have to compensate because I'm actually travelling over a longer distance. I'm banking right. And now I need these off the thrall. Always keeping Bob's point of reference with the lead aircraft. Using my HUD again. Probably could do with being a little bit tighter, but. Uh, we're all pretty new to this, so we're keeping it quite a distance spaced apart. Looks like a good formation from up here. <laughs> <laughs> Left turn's definitely easy without track out. And level off. So that I was trying to find the runway, I found it now. Is that you, JR? To Babs is right. Yeah.
Right, are we ready to try London? Yeah, why not? Do you want one of us to take you in, or are you just going to come in in pairs, or do we all risk it and go all four at the same time? Oh, death or glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all four at the same time. So, uh, let's have a look here. I'll land left then. Someone called to my right, then someone behind me, then someone to their right. I'll just tag on from behind. Take third position, so I'll be left behind you, Babs. Roger that. Okay, drop in altitude, also drop in speed to touch. What are you flying at at the moment, height wise? Five, six. And drop to about three before coming in for approach. Okay, let's find out going for a left turn. Little bit of throttle to stop that speed dropping too much. Yeah, definitely again a little bit too close there. Um, had to back off a little bit. Really, as I say, it's really hard, really difficult to keep yourself absolutely perfectly in line with uh, the lead jet. In fact, that's why we're not doing any weapons at all. We haven't done any weapons training for a while uh, in DCS. Really, we're trying to get down the formation, trying to keep it nice and tight. Get our turns together. Now ah, we're getting there. Yeah, I see the runway. Level off. Okay, let's get our speed down below 200 if we can for the flaps. Slightly to the left, we're too far to the right. Rolling back to get the speed down. Roll right off. It's just gone to shit. Flaps one or flaps two? Uh, can't get the flaps down, it's a little too fucking fast. Okay, flaps one. Gear as well. Yeah, flaps two and gear. Frame weight's all to shit you, it's hard. Altitude, altitude. Throttle up a bit, because we're gonna stall. As you can see, lead aircraft had some frame rate problems, so our approach didn't go just too well, but we all got down safely in the end up. There's a little bit of crosswind. Thanks. We're playing DCS, mostly A10, but we're playing some uh, P51 Mustang as well on Wednesday nights. Host our own servers. You can come and join us on ts3.rustyinplaces.org.